Now turn to part 4, questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. I will have a conversation between a boy called Tony and a girl called Rachel about watching television. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Direct. Tick in the box under A. P.S. If it is not correct, the tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Hi Rachel, how are you? Okay, actually not really. Mm, tell me, do you have a TV in your bedroom? Yeah, I got one for my birthday last month. It's great. You're lucky. My mom won't let me have one. Why not? It's much better because you would love this boring argument I want to watch. Right. My sister always wants to watch lots of cartoons. I am really not keen on them. Exactly. I also have the same problem with my little brother. Another thing, it's a people rule this talking and living room, so they think you can choose the program, you can't hear it properly. That's a point. Although, actually, I really like talking about what I'm watching, so I don't mind people being around. And I can choose the programs. Hmm, but why would your mom let you have TV in your room? But, yeah, she said it would cost too much. But I don't think that's a real reason, because she said I could have a bike instead. Anyway, my auntie said we could have our old one for next to nothing, and my mom still said no. When I got mine, my parents were worried that I'm watching late at night, until it's too tired for school in the morning, so I promised them I was turn it off before 10 o'clock, and do you always do it with them? I think my mom just wants to control what I do, you know, she just wants to be able to see it. No television until you've done your homework. I think like that. I hope she thinks you need that. Or she thinks I'm still a child. I like to decide things like that for myself. My parents never asked about my school or work. They say it's something I have to do by myself. You're lucky, I know. Now listen again. Hi Rachel, how are you? Look, hey, actually not really. Tell me, do you have a TV in your bedroom? Yeah, I got one on my birthday last month. It's great. No, you're lucky. My mom will let me have one. Why not? It's much better because I avoid a lot of boring arguments about what to watch. Right, my sister always wants to watch lots of cartoons. And I'm really not keen on them. Exactly. I used to have the same problem with my brother. I don't think when I was talking in the living room. If you could choose the program, you can't hear it properly. That's a point. Although, actually, I really like talking about what I'm watching. So, I don't mind people being around as long as I can choose the programs. Mm, I don't want to mom that you have a TV in your room. She says it would cost too much. I don't think it's a real reason. You should say they could have a bike instead. Anyway, my aunt said we can't have our old one for next to nothing. And mom still said no. Well, I got mine. My parents were worried that I might watch it late at night and so we too tired for school in the morning. So I promised them I was turned to work before 10 o'clock. And do you? No, always. The bus was on. I think my mom just wants to control what I do. You know, she just wants to be able to say, no television to have done your homework. I think like that. But how do you think you need that? All of this and still a child. I like to decide things like that for myself. My parents never asked me about my schoolwork. They said something I have to do by myself. You're lucky, I know. That's the end of part four.